I am going to spend the next 24 hours at the world's biggest gas station. There are 120 gas pumps, 1,000 parking spots, 83 toilets, and 80 fountain dispensers. I am on my way back home on my cross-country trip and I just had to check out the Disney World of gas stations. Actually, on their website, they don't call it gas station. They call them travel centers. It's our family's first time at Busey's. You could bring the biggest group ride here. I mean, look, look at all those pumps. 24 hours is a long time, so I have a list of things I want to do. Get gas. Do some basic checkup on my bike. Use their award-winning bathroom. There's someone in here cleaning 24-7 eat all my meals here. On this trip, I've already spent 24 hours in the town too tough to die, an underground missile bunker, and survived the road to an abandoned ghost town. So today, it's not about freaking ourselves out. It's about treating ourselves. Treat yourself. Well, I already see a problem with this 24 hour challenge. There isn't anywhere to sit. No tables or chairs inside. No benches outside. I'm sure that was intentional. They don't want us sticking around. They want you to get in and get out. I was kind of hoping I could just do some work on my laptop, but well, it's nice to sit outside on the floor. No, I'm serious. World famous brisket right here. Seven out of ten. Um, excuse me. Three weeks paid time off. First year. That's way more than I've ever gotten at an office job. Good thing I quit to be a YouTuber. So I didn't call Bucky's the Disney World of Gas Station just because they have a cute little rodent on everything. Apparently, they like to sue a lot. There was one company that they started a lawsuit because their logo also was a beaver in a yellow circle. There was another company that was an alligator in a cowboy hat in a yellow circle, which I feel like that was a stretch, but they won the case. And then there was this other convenience store in Nebraska called Bucky's. So spelled a little differently. No squirrel. It's a beef up. So they just agreed to not expand where the other already existed. There was another convenience store in in Texas called Chicks, but they had a lawsuit filed because they just had a similar layout and the idea of like just being mega. There was another one, another lawsuit filed against an employee for breaching a retention agreement, which is kind of a way to keep someone from quitting. I don't know all the details, but I do know that they didn't win that case. It's kind of awkward. They're just different, I guess. They're a private company, no investors, no board of directors, still owned by the two people who started it. So they can pretty much make it as they see fit. There are some cool things though, like any entry level positions, they get paid pretty well and they actually have benefits like starting off, which is very unique. It is Wednesday at seven o'clock. This place is popping. I'm trying to go to different registers because I'm starting to get embarrassed of the employees noticing I'm staying here so long but I'm starting to get recognized. No one seems to think it's weird though. <laughs> what people do seem to think is weird are my pants. I've had at least two people ask me if I'm going skiing. I guess people don't re recognize ADV pants. It's time for dinner. Seven o'clock now. It's a hot dog wrapped in a tortilla. Sausage. That's good. I like that way better than the brisket sandwich. 
as of this year, this is not going to be the biggest Bucky's. They're building an even bigger one, like 30 or 40 minutes east of here. So on my way home tomorrow, I'm gonna stop there, eat breakfast, which they start serving at four in the morning. I'm not gonna be there that early. Really did not expect to find fruit at Bucky's. I really did. I'm so happy right now. Apparently, you can't stay overnight at Bucky's, so don't bring your camper or RV here. And 18 wheelers aren't allowed either. And don't try to get away with it, there's a cop that patrols the parking lot. But there's a hotel literally across the street, and I'm gonna see if I can get a room facing the Bucky's. All right, the sun has set. I think we should call it a night. And we'll be back here in the morning for breakfast and to check out the other Bucky's that is gonna be even bigger than this one being built right now, ready to come out this year. This is, this video is not sponsored by Bucky's at all. I'm just, what is my life now? And uh, mom, if you're watching this, I know I just got off the phone with you right now and told you I don't ride at night, but my hotel is literally right across the street. I have a white helmet, a light gray jacket, my break free light. A word to the wise, from the wise. What I didn't know was that a storm was coming. And that storm was coming from a tornado that I would have to dodge on my way back home on this cross country trip, which you'll see in another video. That, that storm that was supposed to happen yesterday happened last night. It was so loud, it kept me up all night. I woke up two hours after my alarm. I really wanted to make breakfast here. And luckily it still goes until 11 o'clock. It's 10.40 in the morning. I haven't woken up this late since who knows how long. So I think we'll still be able to get breakfast. Thursday at 10.40 and this place is packed. I got breakfast! I couldn't finish that. Nelly's the rescue. It's here! We found it! Coming soon, world's largest. It's gonna be built right here in Luling, Texas. Texas, you already have the biggest bucky. Why do you want to make an even bigger one? Why does everything gotta be big in Texas? It's already 12 o'clock, so even though I only ate breakfast like less than an hour ago, might as well get lunch since I'm here. Use the bathroom, continue on the trek on home. Since there's nowhere really to sit and sitting outside on the ground like yesterday, right now, doesn't seem like lunch is an option either, so I'll just eat in here. Among the merch, this is the club belt. Uh-oh, I hope it's not spicy. See red flakes. Seven point five. It's spicy. I need water. I took a break. Ate half a banana. Then try again. I just don't understand how it's always so full. It's crazy. Although, there are a lot of cars at the gas pumps with nobody in it. Woo! All right, that's enough time at a gas station. Let's head home. Woo, some cold fingers. Halfway home on my cross country trip. Next, we'll be staying overnight in a real Hobbit home. Although I failed spending the full 24 hours at the world's largest gas station, maybe that'd be a little bit easier at the world's biggest motorcycle museum. Check that out right over here. 
see you in the next one.